Hi everyone, Cinder here. Welcome back to Octopath Traveler. Time to start Ulbrix Chapter 3. After learning what you can from Gustav, you head to Wellspring. Erdhart should be here somewhere. the story so far, and so Ulbrich triumphed in the arena at Victor's Hall, defeating Gustav the Black Knight in an epic struggle. Gustav shared the story of Erdhart's past, a tale of a home lost while a king sat idly by, and of how Erdhart swore vengeance upon the crown. Did you wield your blade only for revenge, old friend? What do you fight for now that the thirst has been sated? Have you too lost your purpose? Ulbrich sought answers to these questions. Answers he knew would only come after a clash of blades. And so did Ulbrich arrive in Wellspring. Whoa. Erdhart's somewhere in this town. Best start asking around. Talk to the townsfolk. Hello. Oasis Village Wellspring. Ah. From Beetroot. I need to be a genius. Panic Slash. Oh, man. Person I have right now, you have seven strength, it is, uh, Byron, I forget where I picked him up somewhere while I was traveling. Uh, four strings at Firestorm. I thought that was cool. Panic Slash. But sure. Say we take a journey to partake in all the delectable sweets this land has to offer. All about sweets. Let's ask around. Well met. Excuse me. Do you know a man named Erdhart? Tough bastard with the sword, you mean? Aye, everyone here does. He defended our town from those God's damned lizard men when it seemed like they'd overrun us all. Some folk here say he's our savior, and you won't find me saying otherwise. Whoa. Do you have any idea where I might find him? Hmm. Afraid not, I can't say. Couldn't say. Don't seem around much, truth be told. I thank thee. Is that so? In any event, thanks for the help. Okay. Hey! Can you help me? I'm looking for a man. Goes by the name Erhard. Mm -hmm. You be looking for the swordsman then. Mm -hmm. So you know the man. I know him well. We all do, for the debt we owe him. Debt? Mm -hmm. Aye. See, this town is played by damned lizardmen. Time was, they were happy to sulk about in their lairs and leave us well enough alone. But then they took to setting upon travelers heading to and fro. Fine mess it was. Till their heart came along and started taking care of them for us. Whoa. So where is he now? Hmm. And I couldn't tell you. Don't see him much about on the streets. Gramercy. I see. Thank you for your help. Alright, one more person to ask. Well met. Excuse me, milady. Do you know a man called Erdhart? I'm pretty sure. But you're talking about the swordsman. Just so. That would be him. Oh, yes. A while ago, he saved one of the trade caravans from Lizardmen, then escorted it here to the town safe and sound. A bit of a hero around these parts, though I haven't set eyes on him myself, mind. Whoa. Do you have any idea where I might find him? Hmm. Couldn't say. Doesn't show up in town much. Thank you. That is unfortunate. 
Thank you, nonetheless. Nobody knows where he is. Hold it! Yo, my sir, we got a few questions. Hmm? What about? <clears throat> Are you the one that's been wandering around town bothering people with questions about Lord Erdhart? Bothering? I see. I've been asking after him, yes. Hmm. Care to tell us why? <sighs> what do I tell them? I have no inclination to lie, but... From what the townsfolk tell me, Erdhart's a veritable local legend here. What would they think if they knew I harbored a grudge against their hero and savior? Oh? Cat got your tongue, sir. We can go somewhere private, if you like. As you wish. Yes, that might be for the best. <sighs> what life do you live here, Erdhart? Have you found a new purpose here? Have you found a cause for which to wield your sword? And if you have, might I still find the same? Hmm. Now slow down there. Let me get this straight. Your name is Ulbrich Eisenberg, known as the Unbending Blade of Hornberg, a realm that fell some years ago. And you're here to seek out Lord Erdhart, who was once a fellow knight in that self-same realm? Just so. That's the sum of it. <laughs> well, fair before you, sir. It's an honor to welcome a formal brother in arms of his lordship here to Wellspring. You should have said that straight away, sir. We not have done you this discourtes the discourtesy of dragging you to this dingy room. The truth is. You might not like the rest of my tale so much. Much has passed between Erdhart and I since the days we fought side by side. Things that are best not shared out in the streets, where the townspeople might hear. Indeed? And yet I trust you'll not be averse to sharing them with us, Sir Ulbrick. Oh, Captain Bale, sir! Mm. Leave us. I would speak to Sir Ulbrick in private. With your permission. Sir Albert? I see. Of course. I have questions of my own. Hmm. I'm sure you do. Uh-oh. I'll go and, uh, spec them in, sir. Find something to do. <laughs> in fact... You should know that I am the reason that Lord Erdhart is fighting for the town. Hmm? Is that so? Hmm. We met by chance. Suppose you heard the stories about the Lizardmen? I see. I heard there have been attacks on travelers outside the town. Verily. A caravan was ambushed, but fortune smiled upon the merchants that day. Lord Erdhart fought off the assailants and escorted the caravan safely to town. When the man told me his name, I recognized it immediately. I asked him if he was once a knight of Hornburg. He did not deny it. And so... It was clear his journey had no destination, so I invited him here to stay with us. At first he hesitated, but at the end he agreed to stay and lend us his aid. In so much as I can, were his exact words. I see. And he's been helping you fend off the lizard man threat ever since. Yes. Indeed. The townsfolk are most grateful for his services. I suppose you wish to know where he is. You are former comrades, the two greatest knights of your fallen realm. I see no reason to hide the truth from you. Do you? Ah. <sighs> 
look of it, this town needs Erhard. But I've come prepared to spill his blood if necessary. Should I confront him now? Is this the right time? <sighs> Have you found a new car's earth? Are you now... Do you now wield your blade for a noble cause? A man of the sword must have something to protect. Is this the answer you found? Mm. I have to meet the man. I must know. I must know if he's found purpose, the likes of which he took from me. And if so, can he give me back what I've lost? No. No reason at all. Tell me where he is. In fact... Very well. Lord Erdhart is... Dire news! Captain, sir! It's the Lizardmen! A whole horde of them! What's that? Where, goddammit? Oh. Heading straight for the town, sir, and in greater numbers than we've ever seen! Curses. What of Lord Erdhart? He's gone to the cave, sir. Fighting single-handed, last we heard. Hmm. God's teeth. We can only pray for his safety. Meantime, gather every able-bodied man you can and march out to meet the horde. Town comes first. Once we've turned back the assault, we go to Erhard's aid. Present! Sir! What? Would you let me help? Yes. Let you? We would welcome it. We'll need every sword we can muster. Prepare for battle. We march Present. immediately. Sir. May the gods guard your blood. Sir Robert, follow when you're ready. Let us rendezvous on the lakeside trail. As you wish. I'll be there. <sighs> mm. Protecting the town comes first. There'll be time enough later to find her. Prepare, then talk to Bail. Oasis, the font of life in the arid waste of the desert. Just so. This music is awesome, too. Hope this doesn't bleed into the speaker. Or into the mic, I should say. Just so, the, this one oasis provides water for all the towns hereabout. Is that so? Yes, some villages have small wells, but nothing to match the amount of water that flows forth here. Civilization has flourished in this place since ancient times. It really is something of a miracle, this oasis. A blessing from the gods. And I must do what I can to save this civilization. Are you with me? Of course. You'll have my utmost support. Why, with your brawn and my brains, I'm fain to say we shall be unstoppable. I pray it be so. I think it's so. <laughs> Alright, with all that, we'll grab a save, and then head out to meet the lizard man threat. It's really good music playing. Oh, don't stop it now! I've been awake. Ready when you are. Oh, I'm ready. Let's go. Well, as ready as I can be with the level 19 ready. programs. Good. We must first secure this area and see no harm befalls the town. Curses. Here already. Two arms, men! I will not fail. Weak spears. Now, what next? That's the thing I can do. Um, also weak to... Lightning? Oh, lightning! Smite them down! No. No, then! Ah! Oh, I don't like you having to attack up. That's not good. The peacock struck. My turn. 9 SP, so yeah, 5%. Let your wounds be healed. Yeah. 
How about you? Good dog. Let's see. Uh, we can test if it's ice. It is. No, yeah, kind of stinks to be y'all now. Yeah. You should have studied harder. The music's still playing, which is cool. Primrose levels up because they're gonna attack in waves. God, is there no end to them? Watch your backs! I will not fail. Different, but still weak to ice. I am ready. The peacock struck. No! We're gonna use insight. I think no. for this turn. Next turn will swing. Well then. after wave and then you know more the soldiers push back further but we keep moving more toward more mm -hmm. toward the front stop them for the nonce uh oh think lord Earhart's safe sir <laughs> if any man could survive alone it would be him yet against these numbers i would send him reinforcements but mm. let me go i could double his chances I am in your debt. Then go quickly, Sir Ulbrich. And thank you. <sighs> the smell of steel and blood puts me in mind of another battle. The one that ended with the fall of Hornburg. It's another world to me now. I can scarce remember the man I was then. Did hatred drive my sword arm? Did fear? No. It was for a higher purpose. I swear on my blade. Upon this sword, I swear to defend this town and its people. Verily. Your words give us courage, sir. Men, form lines in, on this position. Let not one of those slavering fiends pass. Sir. Sir. May the gods guard your blade. I see. And yours. Ulbrich. The gentleman in charge of the town's guard is quite something. How so? I mean, he's a good man, gallant and brave. I did not think him your type. Most women appreciate a man of courage, someone you can trust in a crisis. If he is what he says he is, he shall be a good ally. I do say, after all, I've already figured out that you're good and gallant too. See, I'm good at reading men. In fact, I know you're the most trustworthy of all, and that's why I travel with you. Aw, you're blushing. A vexing woman. 
It's <laughs> good, I like that. Lizardman Den, danger level 32. Now, with some luck, we'll get into a few fights here. I know that may sound like the opposite of what we want, but I need Primrose to get a few levels. I need her to have the HP to take a hit. A little bit of money, a little bit of money. You could do better than that. Come on. Four hundred? I mean, come on. I've done my research on you. Wind! The battle is truly joined. Yeah. Ah. Lizard, man. That one in front of you. Attack up, I am not a fan of. <laughs> the peacock struck thinks that he's going last. <laughs> My turn now. Ah. I guess that was close. Stop. Uh. Now, what next? Trade Tempest. Great wins, no If Merchant worked out there. Um. Spear? Huh. Yes. I am ready. Um, do staff. Break you in the blast with us. I'll do my best. Now. Uh, a tempest of fire shall rage. Thus ends your lesson. Oh, break levels up. Cyrus has a good chance of leveling before. Ah. Oh. Again, I miss out because I don't have Therion. Should level before I need to start spamming the list. Surprised our foe, that's good news. That means free hits. Now, what next? I'm gonna take this time to rest after I can just in case. Rest. I know what I just said, but I am ready. Better safe to sorry, especially since we got a free hit. The peacock struck. How about you? Sure. No, it's gonna be spear. Well, then. Spear all the way. My turn now. Victory shall be mine. <laughs> I can break one of you. One of you doesn't get a turn. And the blizzard. There we go, done. Good, good. Thus, Thus ends your lesson. lesson. Oh wow, okay. More EXP than I thought. I misread the EXP. Cool. So definitely we'll get a level soon. I'm going to come up here, find the way we need to go. Hurt her cash. Yay! I mean, come on. We're getting way more than that in battle. Copperfield pouch. They should have been giving thousands, not hundreds, of cash. Victory shall be mine! Like, actually, we have huh. swords. Huh. I am ready. The peacock struck. Ten SP. 
Okay. More than five percent. Slightly more. I think not. Let your wounds be healed. We go. Thus ends your lesson. Cyrus and Ophelia level up. Primrose is close to leveling. I don't think she's gonna be strong enough. But basically, however hard the enemy hits, I need her to be able to take to take a round worth of hits. She just insta dies, I'll have to level. But we'll see how that all goes next time. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a lot of fun. We'll do the boss fight next time. And see how it goes. Until then, I'm Cinderay9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.